Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com, and in this tip, we're going to do something real fun, and we're going to remove the engine out of our Classic VW Beetle. And uh, some of the things you might need, uh, this is a classic motorcycle jack from Craftsman. You don't necessarily need this, but this is a pretty good uh, engine dolly sort of uh, thing. And then we got a three-ton jack here, which is uh, pretty much I would always recommend, with some blocks of wood, maybe some 2x4s. And you want a jack that has a nice circular head here, so we can uh, help lift the, uh, the engine out and down to the ground. And you're going to want some um, engine stands. Uh, usually these come in a kit sometimes when you buy your uh, your jack. And uh, we like to put our engine stands, you know, on our uh, torsion bars here. Uh, it's a good support area for the to, to hold the car up and uh, it's pretty safe. So uh, that's that's definitely what I recommend. And uh, we're going to show you, this, is a, this chassis is flipped upside down. Uh, we usually like to jack up the car from this point here where the horseshoe is. I'll show you another spot later, which is also okay. The first thing we want to do is disconnect the battery because we don't want to shock anybody. And start disconnecting the wires off of your engine. Basically, you want to disconnect the wires that uh, come through your wire loom uh, through the, fire, the engine firewall that connects to the engine. Uh, see, like what I'm showing here, and you see the wire loom there that comes through the firewall. So you want to disconnect anything that's uh, from that loom. Uh, take off your air cleaner. And if you're disconnecting those wires, you don't know where they go, maybe you might want to label them. Uh, then you disconnect your throttle cable from your carburetor. Okay, and then this is an early carburetor, so we have a manual choke on this. We're going to disconnect the manual choke cable as well. If you have later cars, you won't have to worry about that. And uh, with our wire loom all disconnected now, we're going to start and just wrap it up and, and tuck it in the back so it's out of the way. So when we're pulling the engine out, we don't get anything caught. Uh, now basically everything's pretty much taken off of the engine as you can see as far as electrical is concerned. The one of the wires you can keep on if you wanted to is the uh, condenser wire that goes down to the distributor because that's going to be coming with the engine. And now we start disconnecting the tin screws for the front breastplate tin. I definitely recommend that. And you're going to want to get yourself a bin like this uh, to hold all your screws. Okay, so we're going to definitely take out this front tin. It just makes the engine, to take the engine out a lot easier uh, when you pull it away from the transmission. Just go slow. Uh, if it's freshly painted, you don't want to scratch anything. If you have a later bug, you might want to start disconnecting also the hoses that come from the fresh air shroud. All right, here's like a screw. Here's one of the screws we're going to start to, uh, or nuts, we're going to start to take off first, and that's uh, on the bell housing here. And there's two on the top, uh, on either side, left and right. And they're 17 millimeter nuts. And you're going to want to get yourself a 17 millimeter wrench, or what we have here, like a ratchet wrench, which makes makes life a lot easier to take those nuts off. So you want to reach your arm down behind, behind the even the engine hood, and just start taking those nuts off. Make sure you have good enough light too. Get get yourself a drop light so you can see what you're doing. Put that in the bin and then go get the other nut. And take that off. And then at this point, we're using a lift to show you know so it's uh, easier to film. Uh, but at this point, this is where you want to jack up your car underneath the horseshoe, like I stated, with some two by fours, so you get it up high enough, and then put the jack stands under that rear torsion bar. Here's the other area where you can jack up the car if you don't want to go into the horseshoe, and that's right here where the uh, the tranny mounts, uh, the, the the brace under the transmission, rather. And you want to put your jack stands on those torsion bars, the tubes. Uh, one of the first things we disconnected the heater cables here. Uh, I think these are usually like an eight or a nine on a on a socket or a wrench. Just want to disconnect those and pull them out of the little barrel, just like that. And then you also want to take off your heat tubes that go uh, that travel the heat inside the car. These are metal pipes that were used for the early cars. Later ones you might have an accordion style uh, uh, heat tube. Then you want to get yourself some needle nose vice grips or just regular vice grips, and you want to cl clamp off your fuel line, just like that. Make sure it's not too tight. You don't want to crimp the hose. And see, we have it crimped here, and then you want to pull it off of, right next to it, the copper line that comes through the firewall, and take that rubber hose off of there. 
Then we can start taking off the two nuts underneath the 17 millimeter nuts. And now our engine will be basically free from the transmission bell housing. If you have the earlier bugs, you'll see like the throttle cable uh, has a little washer type cup thing that uh, holds it on there. Later ones won't have that. And then you also have the uh, choke cable, so you're going to want to disconnect that as well with a little screwdriver that holds it in, a little, uh, little clamp that holds it in there. Later cars don't have that. Okay, and as you can see he, under here, here's your thin throttle cable, and right next to it we're yanking on the choke right there. But here's your thin throttle cable, we're going to start pulling out, and there's a little tube, as you can see there, that has the cable in it. Just start yanking on it, it'll start pulling out just like that. There you go. Popped out. Perfect. Just push it off to the side, get it out of the way, just like that. Just, you know, so when you're removing the engine, you don't want it caught on anything. And then the next thing would be if you have an earlier car, you take off the manual choke cable and just pull that out as well. Okay, now here's our bin with all of our hardware that we took off of the car. Make sure you save those and put them in a safe spot and get your jack ready and uh, ready to be positioned underneath the engine but before we do here's another thing I want to show you um, they sell these uh, engine dollies um, that you can put around the jack that the engine will then sit down on perfectly just like you see here they sell these at a lot of VW shops and as this camera pulls away here you'll see where that engine dolly will mount on the bottom of the engine and see so you then once it mounts on there or falls on there you can then pull your jack out and then reuse your jack to jack up your car to take the engine away then or you could just use this motorcycle type jack uh, like we showed you earlier uh, to take the engine out but what you want to do is start jacking up the your engine and put it right underneath that oil pan a little oil drain pan make sure it's cupped around it now we have an earlier car so we just move we just grab the manifold and start pulling it away from the transmission as you can see it just slid right back nice and easy some engines are not as easy so you might have to work it a little bit and if you have a later car use the two tailpipes to move the engine back we only have a single tailpipe on this so we can't grab uh, as well so then with the jack I start lowering it a little bit and you'll start to see I start yanking it a little more comes further away and then I lower the jack a little bit more I keep lowering it as it until it starts now, now we're fully away from the transmission at this point I'm yanking on it that's as far as it's going to go because it's ready to hit the apron now I lower the jack the engine starts tilting forward a little bit and then you once you take it away from the transmission spline now it, you can tilt it backwards and then drop it straight down so you don't hit the apron with that generator pulley you might want to put a cloth on the apron if you want to so if you don't want to scratch anything and then at this point once you're on your dolly you can then go back to your jack and then start jacking up the car we're going to show you we use a lift and there you have it your engine is removed from your bug it's probably one of the easiest engines in the world to take out of an automobile. If you have any questions, uh, please email me, chris at classicbwbugs.com or visit my website, www.classicbwbugs.com. <laughs>